everyone, my name is Sophia and I am a core member for the Watershed Stewards program. Today I am going to be showing you how you can make your own at-home watershed model. If you're not sure what a watershed is, please check out these other Creek Day videos that can explain it in detail. A short explanation is that a watershed is the area of land consisting of the entire drainage of a river system. With today's at-home experiment, we'll observe what happens in a watershed when it rains. Also, if you'd like a worksheet that goes along with this experiment, please look in the video description below. For this experiment, you will need a deep baking tin, aluminum foil, scrap paper or newspaper, different powders, oils, or food coloring. You can look in your spice cabinet at home and get creative with what you want to use tape, and a spray bottle. The first step is to take your newspaper and make mountains in your tin. So you can do that by crumpling it up and putting it inside the baking tin. And once you have some mountains made, you'll use the tape to secure them to place. Make sure you also leave room for a river to go down the middle. Now you can see that there are two mountains on the top, two smaller mountains in the front, and a river that goes through the middle. For the next step, I'm going to take the aluminum foil and roll it out to cover my entire baking tray. Now that I have the aluminum foil all set on my watershed model, you can see that we have some mountains, a river that goes down the middle, and then a big body of water, maybe an ocean or a lake. And you can imagine that this is where we live. We all live in a watershed. Uh, you might live in a house up on a hill. You might live in a house closer to the valley, near the river, near the ocean or lake. So you can imagine that there's a whole community of people living here and all those people have a lot of pollutants in their house, at their jobs, at their schools, at farms. Pollutants are any substances that harm the environment. So now I'm going to start adding my pollutants in where I think they might exist in our watershed. So I think there might be a farm over here that has some loose dirt. I know there are some roads that go in between the mountains and the valley. So I'll put on a little bit of car oil. Maybe there's like a bridge that goes over the river. There's some car oil there. And then some pesticides used at the farm, used at some of the houses up on the top of the hill for their big, beautiful gardens. And some garbage, which I see a lot in my area. Maybe you do too. And if you don't have these in your watershed, you can get creative and find different pollu pollutants. Now that I've added all the pollutants to my watershed, it's time to make it rain. So I have my spray bottle here and I'm going to start spraying from the mountains as if it were starting to rain. 